Hey, we're off out, out. We are? In the car. <laughs> Gorgeous sunny day, we're off to a secret location to meet a secret person. Well, can't reveal yet. But, uh, we've got the air conditioning on because it's very warm. Dex is nice and chilled in the back. Nice in there. We're going to get some donuts. Oh yeah, we've got about an hour's travel. Oh, it's so peaceful on that river, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Highly recommend the Weaver. Uh, we're only allowed a day on that spot, which is the double mile moorings. It's only 24 hours. So we arrived there move. yesterday. Yeah, late yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? So we're going to move when we get back. Um, down towards Dutton Locks, is it? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Brill. Well, we've been trying to set up this GoPro on the windscreen <laughs> for about two years and I've just figured it out. Hope it works. <laughs> I'm full of hay fever, that's why I can't oh, yeah. sniff it. Yeah, Dexter's with us. We've I've got. That. Oh, you did, yeah. Um, yeah, it's about a 45 mile journey from where we were moored. And all we can say is we're heading to the hills of Derbyshire to meet someone. All will be revealed. Exciting news. We loved Archie as well. We were actually around that area, weren't we, with the boats yes. um, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Can you see Dexter Dog? Suddenly sat up. Thinks going for a walk, doesn't he? Yeah. He's going to be very disappointed when he gets there. Because we've slowed down. We will take him for a little walk. We used to come up this way all the time when we were on the Peak Forest Canal, didn't we? We did. Uh, past did. Manchester Airport. Hell of a drive, wasn't it, for me to work? Yeah. And oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're still in our secret location. We've Fair met right. with the secret people that we're meeting with. What yep. do you think it might be? We've got countryside behind us. We're still in Derbyshire. It's beautiful, absolutely it is beautiful. stunning. And all we can say is we are so excited. Yeah, we can't wait to share with you. Yeah, but if you stick around to the end of this vlog, we may show mm. you or tell you what it is. <laughs> might we? <laughs> we might do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dex is waiting for us. We're going to go into Whaley Bridge because you want your hair cut. I do want my hair cut and then yeah. we're going to have a walk around Bugsworth, I think, because yeah. we love Bugsworth, basically. Yeah, possibly. But yeah. we do need to move the boat today, don't we? Yeah, but we've got all day haven't we yeah. like when we get home it's only an hour away so yeah, um, yeah we're very 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 excited um can we give them some clues no i think we can yeah we can because i'm not showing this this week <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so th oh. the clues are um this isn't happening until november so we won't have probably any footage to show you until december but we are having a brand new boat built. I saw it, I can't believe we're saying it. I know. Um, I'm so excited, I'm getting goosebumps. So we love our boat. We absolutely love it, but yeah. uh, you know. After living on it for nearly two years. There are things we would change, and I yeah. think we discussed this in a Q&A a while ago. Yeah. Um, you know, things we would change about what, on our boat. So we're, the, the boat builder that we're um, in collaboration with is very, very receptive to change. So um, we've come up with a few ideas. We're probably going to ask you guys for some ideas what you would have on a boat if you could. Yeah, because we've got to decide, do we want electric propulsion? Do we want a new type, style of fire, uh, like a diesel reflect rather than um, solid fuel? Um, the layout of the boat, will we still go with traditional Not layout reverse. or reverse, reverse layout? layout yeah. uh, sorry, with reverse so, layout. Um, um, give us, give us sort of reasons why you would pick that as well yeah because we've got a very we've got our own ideas but you know we would welcome other stuff because this is a i guess a second time yeah. and we've, we're now looking at this with eyes from having lived aboard for nearly two years yeah um, what works for us and what doesn't yeah. work for us really especially in, in the space that yeah. we live in and we have discussed what doesn't work like yeah. things like the fridge freezer yeah the bed um uh, the oven you know no it's yeah. not what might work for one person might not necessarily work for somebody else and vice versa, but uh, we're very, very excited. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. And I, I, I've got to tell them who the boat builder is. You haven't. I have. No, nope, you can't. 
can. No, stop it. <laughs> well, we don't need to release that till next week. Anyway, <laughs> so um, we're going to leave it there. We're going to explore the rest of Derbyshire because it's absolutely beautiful, but it's a shame not to while we're here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, watch this space. Yeah, we're very excited. Yeah. Um, if you've got any ideas for our new boat, um, it may not even be 57 feet. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not sure, yeah, are we? Yeah, we don't, we don't yeah. actually know. It's total blank canvas. So Yeah, so if yeah. you were going to get a boat built, what would be important to you and what would you like to see on our boat or, you know, any ideas yeah. for our new boat would be fantastic. So, okay. yeah, speak right. to you soon. You Enjoy Bye. the rest of the vlog. Bye. Right. Come on. We're evening. At, evening. We're at Dutton Mile. We've just been out for the day to our secret location. And uh, this is a one day mooring, so it's yeah. time to move, even though it's but, ooh, 20 past six, so it's quite late for us to be on our way, but we don't know if we're our welcome, so we're going to head this way. We're not. We are. We're headed that way. I thought we were going to Sol Salterford. Oh, yeah, that That's is that way. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we're going that way. <laughs> I told you it's rubbish with direction. Um, absolutely no sense direction. Dutton Locks are that way, Addison Boat Lift's that way, but we've only got about a 30 minutes cruise, uh, hopefully, but it's a gorgeous evening. So when I went back for the car yesterday yeah. um, to Anderton Boat Lift, I got a back related injury, didn't I? You did. <laughs> like, the pedal, because the gates are really daft, because they're curved, you can't actually get your bike round, so I had to lift it over, and then um, I caught my leg on the pedal, so it's cut my leg. Fetch me that saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, it's, I'm, I'll soldier up. Oh, are you alright? Yeah. Alright. Dexter's alright, he's got his cool jacket on and we're going to set off. Lovely evening, let's look out for some wildlife. Yeah. A bit sad to be leaving here because it's stunning beautiful. I wonder if we'll see any otters. Yeah, I feel like we're sat in a Turner painting. I may have said that last night, but it's that night. And what did you say? I wonder if we'll see any otters. Oh, yeah. Apparently there's otters on here. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Right, go. Cool. Wish us luck. See you in a bit. See you soon. Ah, well, we've had a lovely day, haven't we? We have. It's really fab been jam-packed. In it, fact my whole will have time to walk around Bugsworth Basin is just typical of <laughs> yeah. my distorted concept of time. Anthony thinks he's Doctor Who because it was about <laughs> four o'clock when you said that and we had to go to Whaley Bridge to get your hair cut, get some lunch. We had no lunch because oh, gotcha. we we're ages yeah. chatting weren't we? But yeah we're back on the River Weaver. It's cooled down a bit thankfully because we've moved, had to move yeah, the boat as we said it, earlier. And Dex is just laying the grass, bless him. Yeah, cooling off, nice and cool for him. But I've found, just as an aside, yeah. these, <laughs> they're absolutely amazing. So much for the diet. Not, not for me, they're too dry, too dry uh, for me. No. Do, you remember, do you remember the chocolate dip things that had the little sticks in with I, Nutella? That's exactly what they taste well, like. I quite like them, but there's too much biscuit going on with them. No. Too dry. No, Why is my glass empty? Because you've drank it. <sighs> Well, we can reveal a little bit more about the boat build now because we've had a discussion and we didn't know whether to announce it now but we're scared that people would find out and we'd rather it be a big surprise. I don't think it's going to be a massive surprise anyway because I think a lot of people will guess yeah. who our preferred boat builder for the new boat is going to be. Think should we tell everybody the names first? No, I so think we should guess. just say what I'm about to say. Yeah. So it's not going to be a massive surprise because... Um, we were wowed last year and we were more wowed this year. Mm -hmm. um, we just love what they do, we love the design concept. Um, They're very forward thinking aren't they and I think the, they've got an eye for detail and I've got a bit of an OCD yeah. I, and I know I shouldn't use that term loosely but I have got an OCD and I think so has Liam. Yeah. <laughs> So the boat builder is, if you've not guessed already, yeah, it's Oakham's. Oakham's, and we're so thrilled to be working with them, aren't we? They're, they're a, a new team of boat builders, not that new. They've yeah. been going longer. So it's a than small probably. family concern, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. With a small team, and we just got a real nice vibe last year from them. They're really nice guys. They're really welcoming. The whole team were really nice, um, and this year again, they were really welcoming. Um, we we're blown away by the boat we, that yeah. they had in Crick this year. Um, and and it's like we said earlier, we do love our boat, and we're, we're sat here now next to our boat, and I think we're going to be really sad to see our boat go out. Yeah, hundred percent. Because yeah. to be honest, it's, we do love it, and it's not even so two years old, is it? And no. we we've, we've done stuff to it. It's become well, it's our home. We've yeah. made it quite personal. 
And it's the adventures we've had in it, isn't it? I think it makes yeah, it, it's the memories. Yeah, as you well, get more but, attached uh, than you would in bricks and mortar, almost. Yeah. I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're really excited to be working with Oakhams. They're really excited to be working with us, which is great. And They're just very receptive, aren't they, to yeah. ideas? So we came with stuff that we, having lived aboard now, that we <clears throat> sort of a list of wants, a list of um, things that we didn't like about their boat, um, things we would change about ours. And I know we've discussed a lot of the stuff, like the bed and stuff, on our quick uh, Q and A. Yeah. Um, and it's stuff like that I think that we got to a point where we thought, should we do a, a refit of Morningstar? We were actually thinking that before we went down to Crick, weren't we? We had no idea that we'd come away from Crick thinking, let's get a new boat. It was just... Well, we went to Crick to get ideas yeah, to get a ideas. refit. Like, you know, what would work on our boat, what wouldn't. Yeah. Um, and then, we, we, yeah, we didn't have any intention of getting a new boat. And then we, we had a look at finances and stuff, didn't yeah. we? And, to see if we could afford to get a new boat. We think we can probably just about manage. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're very, very excited. We, you know, no disrespect to the boat builders, we loved what we saw on a lot of them. Picker staff like, were, were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah. You, you, you know, it was... We loved the team, we loved the build. We were quite sad when the build was over. And well, it got... wasn't just that. Oh. It, was, it was also for us, because we're quite indecisive. Well, you're quite indecisive. <laughs> You, this this is what they built, and you either liked it or you didn't, and we, and we do. We still we, we still love it. Yeah. Um, there's just little things that just don't work. I think anybody who lives on a boat, you know, a lot of boat, a lot of boat owners have said to us, you normally get your boat right by the third boat, and we were like, well, I hope not. That's not the case. But actually, I can see what they're saying because you well, live on it, and the thing is, living on a boat is a compromise. Mm. You're never going to get the perfect boat. It's mm. always going to be a compromise. I think the addition of the lithium battery on ours has made a massive difference to yeah. how we not overuse power now but we mm. don't have to think about power we don't you know sit there and think right we can't do this now because we can't run the engine it's after eight o'clock and we we've not really got enough battery power we, we just never got to a point where we've been short of battery mm. um so you know we have made tweaks on our boat there are things where we would have to start ripping out interior to do other tweaks. Mm. Um, or if you wanted to change the fire and things like the, the windows are single glazed and yeah. we want double glazing. And the bed, so we wanted, you know, possibly a crossover bed or something that would just make a, a king size yeah, bed. Just a bigger bed, yeah. Um, and, you know, to do that on our boat, we would have to, we would have to rip stuff out. And I think that's when it starts to get more expensive than you anticipate. Mm. Which is why we've gone down the, the new build route. Um, Sorry, we can hear voices and yeah. people on paddle boards. Yeah. We thought we were blocking the pave, the, the path. Oh, the weave is just beautiful. It's sort of to, totally going up piece, but it's yeah. absolutely stunning. It is stunning. So, um, yeah, we're very excited. We're hoping we're going to be able to show you the build process from it, start to finish, yeah. to be honest. We, yeah. we couldn't really do that last time. A lot of it was because of COVID, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so, we're hoping to, to show you from start to finish the build process. And we really would like your input, wouldn't we? Because we're yeah. still undecided on which fire to get. We've spoken to Liam and Leah yesterday. They have different ideas to us, yeah, don't they? Yeah. And, um, we hope, well, we're thinking of future proofing the boat and you know, neither of us are getting any younger. And so the idea of lugging coal and gas bottles, <clears throat> but it's something that, that's in discussion mm. and they're very receptive, like I said, to, to change. And yeah. th I'm really excited about that. I think the biggest thing is going to be the colour. Yeah, it's, it's, we've already been looking at colours and we really can't decide. We love the colour of Morningstar. Um, we still love the colour and, yeah. and it looks stunning. Um, but we've seen the colour on a few other boats, haven't we? And, and it's not yeah, very similar colour. It's not unique anymore. And, and so we want to go down looking at, I don't yeah. know. I say unique, it might not end up looking unique at all. But it might be the same colour exactly. Possibly. We don't know. We, <laughs> we, we really just don't, don't, know. We don't know. It is very early days. We just came away from... Crick so excited didn't we yeah. buzzing really after speaking to Liam and Lyra and saying that this could happen for us yeah um, yeah we still pinch ourselves don't we we didn't sleep properly for a couple of nights because we're thinking oh we're doing the right thing and or, or just the excitement of I think it's the excitement yeah, I think yeah. it, it's Death difficult because we because we love our boat so much mm. it's very difficult to put your faith in another boat builder I think because <clears> you know you can't take it away because stuff we're 
good at what they did and yeah. you know and the customer service yeah like, we're second to none so yeah. um you know to to move away from that it, it's quite scary but you know i've got a really nice feel for the team i i, I trust them i've we've been in contact with a few of their customers and and they are just raving about them so yeah. the same way we did with big staff so yeah. it, it feels very much like we're in safe hands like we were with the big staff yeah team. almost like a family isn't it and sort of a, a new family of bolts and yeah bolts. i hope we don't they don't divorce us from the um no. bigger staff family no i still feel very much part of that as well yeah definitely one thing we definitely know is we're going to keep the name morning star it's it's very personal. It's um, a lot of people know Morningstar is mm. us. I know there are, there's another vlog with the yeah. same name, isn't there? Which we didn't actually realise. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was chosen for a very personal reason. Um, so we're definitely keeping the name. Um, oh, and the one thing we do know for certain, the boat is 60 feet long. Yeah. So uh, while a lot of people will go, oh, you can't get everywhere. The, pe I think a lot of people are like looking at the Leeds and Liverpool and, mm. and actually Maggie and Ryan on their 60 foot boat did do the Huddersfield yeah. narrow and broad it is possible we've done it to be honest and I can't yeah. imagine while we absolutely loved it Kingfisher oh wow sorry oh. <laughs> like squirrel <laughs> always saying poor does that um, while we um, loved loved the Huddersfield I wouldn't want to be repeating it because it was really hard work mm. never say never and I don't but we can do it in a 60 foot boat yeah. Like we said earlier, we're very excited because it's it's almost like we started again at the drawing board. There's so many ideas we've got going on in our head. You know, we like to embrace modern technology, yeah. modern techniques. We love a gadget. Uh, yeah, the fact that, you know, it's solid oak and we've already got ideas and Liam's got the same thinking as us. Um, and, and brought some other ideas to the table that yeah. we didn't think about. So yeah. um, it's not stuff we can reveal now, mm. but um, you'll see it as the boat build progresses. We, we're just really excited. Yeah, definitely. So we just wanted to let you, everybody know, um, because I know rumours start to happen. I, I've shared a boat, so the boating show is fit, actually for sale, um, and then people have already started assuming we're going to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> we're not buying that one. We, no. we loved it, we're not buying that, we're, we're building from scratch. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the process. I hope you continue to follow and yeah. watch the process. I think it will be really exciting. Um, like we've said, send us ideas of what you think would work, would work. Would um, or what you'd have personally on your boat. And some things just wouldn't work. Some people come up with ideas that are, <clears> are great, <throat> aren't they? But I think Liam said, you know, if I wanted a bath, you could put a bath on. But actually, the practicality of having a bath, um, it'd be once in a blue moon, and using that space for space the premium, I couldn't justify having a bath. Mm. The water tank is double hours, isn't it? So yeah. it's a thousand litres, where ours is 500. Mm. Um, it's a longer to film, but less time between fills, I guess. Yeah. So, mm. yep. So we'll leave it there. I don't think you've got anything else to say, have you? No, other than please subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. You don't want to miss future videos, especially when we start showing you the yeah. boat build oh. and the process. So the shell arrives. In no. No. no the shells Ar arrives in December. December the shell build is November so yeah. with a bit of luck we'll even be able to get up to see the shell build yeah so yeah we'll uh, we'll keep you posted we will keep you posted we hope you're as excited as we are because we definitely are yeah Dex doesn't get excited about much really unless it's a chicken sandwich <laughs> in fact you, if you turn the camera on you'll be able to show how excited Dex is yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, this is how excited Dexter is about the new boat build, aren't you lad? You excited? Dexter? You excited? <laughs>